The Honorable uh, Member for Lacombe Pinoca, followed by Calgary Bow. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Health, after nearly five years of transitioning ambulances from municipalities to AHS, the Health Quality Council report acknowledges a loss of local community knowledge, a culture of mistrust, and a perceived lack of adequate EMS resources to meet the needs of Albertans. Municipalities are left filling service gaps this government created. They are expecting local fire departments to backstop these gaps in service. Why is this government going back on its word and downloading the costs onto the backs of our municipalities? Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the Honourable Member's question does a very good job of acknowledging the great number of stakeholders that the Health Quality Council of Alberta conferred with in developing this report. Among them, Mr. Speaker, mayors and elected officials across this province, EMS workers and others. With respect to questions around fire and municipal services, I'll ask the Honourable Minister of Municipal Affairs to supplement. Honourable Minister. <coughs> Honourable Member. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that local ambulances are being sent to cities to pick up patients and may not be available to our rural communities when needed, how does this minister plan to remedy this government's mismanagement that is causing ambulances to be taken away from our rural communities? Mr. Speaker, the report provides a very clear roadmap to answer that question, and that is that uh, the, the report recommends the uh, completion as quickly as possible of the consolidation of dispatch services around the province. Mr. Speaker, I've observed this issue firsthand when I visited the Edmonton Dispatch Centre uh, last week. Uh, we saw that municipalities that are not yet part of the provincial consolidated system are not visible to central dispatchers in Edmonton. The same would be true in the other two provincial centres. So, Mr. Speaker, the answer lies, as the report recommends, in completing dispatch consolidation as quickly as possible. Honourable Member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And you know, Albertans, they just don't trust this government. Given that in the news article I will table later, dispatch times in Lacombe are reported as woefully not meeting the previous standard under the municipality of two minutes since AHS government was established. What will this government do to make sure that residents in my constituency and all Albertans are receiving timely emergency ambulance service when they need it? Well, Mr. Speaker, I, I wouldn't want the Honourable Member's question to leave Albertans with the impression that we have fewer resources in our ambulance service today. We, in fact, have the same or more resources across the province. The, the issue, Mr. Speaker, is the consolidation of dispatch services. One of the things that the report points out, Mr. Speaker, is a consequence of this in the past, prior to the creation of Alberta Health Services, is the lack of available data to make, make accurate, valid comparisons about then and now with respect to response times.